And those shrinking farm incomes are one of the reasons why Kansas co-ops are consolidating. Kansas State Associate Professor and Director of, of the Arthur Capper Cooperative Center, Brian J. Briegerman, joins us now on the phone to discuss the pressures co-ops have been facing. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you very much, Janet. So tell us, how do the lower farm incomes affect these co-ops? The biggest way that it affects a cooperative is through their ownership structure. Uh, grain and farm supply co-ops are owned uh, by their farmer uh, customers. So as we look back through history, we tend to see a little more rapid consolidation within the cooperative landscape when times are tough. So as net farm incomes fall, puts pressures on farmers, and we tend to see an associated pressure on the cooperatives that they own. And what are the benefits as well as what are those drawbacks of these consolidations taking place? The number one benefit is that if a consolidation or a merger, uh, an alliance were to occur, is that it does provide value back to the, their farmer owners. Does it make their, their operations better somehow, some way, whether that's through efficiencies, uh, access to other markets that they may not have uh, otherwise without the merger, or just some types of scope uh, that gives them just some additional benefits. So the biggest benefit is just, you know, making farmers farmers uh, better. As far as drawbacks go, uh, just if that merger comes together and it does fall apart, it does fail, it misses the mark when it comes to providing that value back. Um, really at the end of the day, for a merger to be successful whether or failure goes to how does it benefit those farmer owners. And has there been a historical trend of these consolidations taking place for the number of co-ops in Kansas? We've seen it uh, throughout time. Uh, if you go back to uh, 1950, according to USDA data in Kansas, we had right around 350 uh, grain, oilseed, farm supply cooperatives. Uh, today, that number sets at about 80. So we've seen that continual downward trend, that consolidation, which again goes back to that ownership structure. We've seen the same thing with farmers. Uh, today we've seen farmers grow in size with new technologies that have come on, the rising capital costs that it takes for a farmer to be successful today. Um, we've seen the same thing happen uh, with co-ops. Just think of it as the cooperative has to keep up with those farmers, you know, farmers are able to harvest a bigger crop. They get it out of the fields faster than we've ever done before in the past. And co-ops have to meet that speed and space that's required to uh, satisfy their needs. All right. Associate Professor Brian Bickerman, thank you for joining us today. Again, talking about the consolidation of co-ops taking place in Kansas. 